Jerry once again with the Training Center here in Dover, Tennessee. I appreciate you for watching. Today I'm doing a review of an item that's been out for many years. I have actually personally had this particular device uh, bolted onto my AR-15 since 2006. Um, the company is called Booney Packer and they make a device called the Ready Mag. Many of you may be familiar with this device, but I'm doing this for you folks that may have never heard of one of these or perhaps seen them, but kind of wondered a little bit more about how they actually operate. Now, it simply uh, allows you to hold two magazines together at all times, but without being attached to the magazines themselves. There are many products out there that you can buy to where it either replaces the floor plate of your magazine where it holds two mags or three mags actually for that matter or the good old mag cinch now back in the day we remembered you know a lot of times guys <laughs> you see this in um, photographs but where they would take two magazines and tape them together so when I run dry I would reach, reach this you know and flip it over and do that little Vietnam deal well hey that was actually a pretty darn good idea but what I like about this thing is it allows you to keep two magazines on board but they are not attached so when you run dry and you go to reach for a fresh magazine it's attached to the side of your rifle but you don't have this other mag that's now empty adding extra bulk so basically how it works is when the, when the bolt locks to the rear and you know you're out you simply depress the magazine release come back over and chamber however you do it like the back of the hand or if you do run the little ping pong paddle on the side of your gun it allows you to chamber another magazine extremely quick now a couple drawbacks it does add some bulk to the gun I will say that it adds a little bit of weight but at night if you're fumbling around and trying to grab a couple magazines because something's going on um, this is about the quickest mag change you can probably have because you know it had had this one run dry and it was attached to a mag coupler basically you know it'd be spaced apart so I would have to come out and then go over and I've got this empty magazine on board so that's one thing I kinda like that sets this this device here apart now if you do go this route I'll suggest give yourself some time to train with this new setup because it's a little at first a little disorienting because you're so used to just grabbing fresh magazines what you can actually do is as you're firing and you go dry come over recharge the weapon then technically you can start if you're running a chest rig you can start replenishing this so every time you have magazines on board bang 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 I go dry I come over I recharge the weapon as I'm still engaging or whatever or if I've got behind cover I can grab another magazine put it on board so it takes a little bit of training I wouldn't probably run this on every AR I've got I've only got it on one but it's mainly set up for um, home defense type setup and I know if I reach for it at night I do have two uh, I got 28 rounds in each magazine. I think that's going to handle most issues you're going to run up against in the, in, in the real world here. So uh, give it a chance. Take a look at it. It's not for everyone. Some people do not like them. Some people swear by them. Like I said, I've had this thing since 2006. I'm used to it, but it did take some time, a little bit of training on the range with it to make sure it did function for me and it actually worked. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching, and as always, we'll see you on the range.